Oh, thanks for having me again. Um, well, the movie. Um, well, we got the idea actually. I at the start of the year, um, it was it was amazing. We we're on a mountain, a couple of friends and I and, and the girls, and we're just waiting for the gates to open. Like we're we're skiing, right? And we, on on the TV at a cafe, we just hear some random news about some random stuff that that go, keeps on going on, and it's it's bad news, you know. Um, and at that point, you're you're just realizing it was it only the first month that was hard, or is this gonna go on? Like, is, is this gonna affect you? Is it gonna go out through the year? You know, and at one point, you figure out that that the virus you've been talking about is it starts spreading. You know, like first of all, it appeared like in China, that's far away from where we are, right? And then all of a sudden, you hear places clo closing down. They're going into quarantine. You're thinking like, all right, is this stuff serious? You know, you 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 want it to pass. Like you think you're you think it's gonna pass until until spring or summertime, right? You think like, yeah, it's one of those viruses, one of those things. You know, it's gonna last like two months, three months, and it's gonna go away. But then, like throughout the year, like m mid year, I'm talking to my girl, and I'm like, all right, th this is serious. You know, like half the world's closed down. Is, is anybody going to make a movie about it? No, and, and it was actually like, it started out as a joke, but then you, again, there are so many events that happened that, that it got really serious. And I was like, okay, we actually got a lot of material and, and you know, let, 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 let's make it happen. So that, that's how we got the idea. Uh, my, my favorite event, um, my favorite, I can't say favorite, but the event that had the most impact on me definitely this year i would be definitely beirut you know the explosion and the, the reason for that was because out of all the events that happened this one was actually the one that was caught live from a lot of phone cameras people randomly filming stories you know like when you're taking out the videos throughout the whole year trying to put them into one movie one film you realize that there's more than 50 videos in in the whole year like more than 50 events that actually happened and you know that you can't put all the 50 videos because it's, it's the, the movie would just last too long so when we tried to make it a simple movie with like only the main events to concentrate on really had a hard time um categorizing the movies and, and trying to differ what's more important than than uh and what's less important and then you figure out that all of the events are important but there are the, the specific ones, like the, the the one in Beirut, the explosion that happened that, that leave a special impact on you. And, and that the reason for that was that all of the videos that, that you can see in the movie are, are just like random phone shaking cameras of people, random people filming. It's not, you know, it's not like a TV crew that, that's making the, the report. It's just random people. And you can, it's like you're there. You can feel their reaction through 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 the lens of the camera that they're filming and you can really feel that they're afraid and yet again there's nothing you can do because you're you're so far away and it already happened the moment you see it right and definitely definitely that would be the one that had the most impact oh regarding santa claus yeah that's a cool story um so when we got to filming um i thought that when I'm put when I was putting the the storyline together, I know I couldn't just put the videos one over the other and and make the movie as a whole out of just a bunch of videos that are that are compiled together. So I thought I should make a storyline to to follow up and definitely the the best idea I had was to make a storyline with including Santa Claus because like Christmas is around the corner, right? And I, I knew that we had to wait until like December to, to film everything because we had to wait for the events to happen. Unfortunately, there were a lot of events that, that happened and we got a lot of materials. But then again, the Santa Claus story is very cool because, um, first of all, I couldn't find a, a very good quality Santa suit. And then when I actually found one, uh, I went to rent it. And what happened was when I got there, the woman that was renting out the costume she she gave out like she she organized everything you can see the jacket the cap the 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 pants the boots the bells even can uh, santa sack the the belt everything like she had the whole package including the beard obviously and i, I was just there looking at the the costume and i was like yeah it, it doesn't suit the film for some reason and then it got to me okay 
uh, I'm just going to take the jacket and the cap, right? And when the woman was like, like, what do you need it for? Like, usually everybody takes the whole, whole thing, right? And that's where I got the idea. 2020 wasn't the best year. In fact, I really believe that it was the worst year in this millennium. And that's what I wanted Santa to look like, you know, like I couldn't make Santa all white with a fluffy beard, all joy and happy because Santa, the symbolic of, of, of Santa Claus is actually um, to bring presents, to bring joy to people's houses, to bring them together, right? But in this case, you have a Santa that's also worn out throughout the year that, that represents the year in whole, right? But then again, he's Santa Claus and... and that's where that's where you get the symbolic that he could actually not be so good at the part of year. And when I told the woman that I don't even want the like, you know, I don't want the beard, I don't want the pants, I don't want the boots, you know. I'll just take the jacket and the cap and and then she was like, "All right, what do you need it for?" I was a movie. All right. And then she was like, "But you like Santa has a white beard." Yeah, okay. I'll I have a black beard and, and my at the time my beard was much longer than this and I thought, okay, Santa's gonna have a black beard. You know, it's it's not the best year. It's it's just the contrast I want to put in. You know, and and that's how I got the idea. And hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you you realize the symbolic of of the whole Santa project. Yeah, the movie was definitely inspired in some way, like. Every, every, I think every movie is inspired by something, you know, you have to have an idea to, to make it, to make it happen. And when, when I thought about the storyline, not exactly the compiling of the events that happened, but the storyline, which is going to follow through with, the, with, uh, Santa Claus and, and his, his girlfriend or, or, or whatever she, I didn't even define her in the movie, but uh, whatever she is, I thought about the story that happened to me that year. Like, what what happened, how my life went through that year, how I had the ups and downs, what happened to me, and how I got through it all, you know? Like, it's it's it was a very inspiring point um, to put that into the movie. Now, I'm not going to tell you what really happened in my life, but you can you can kind of um, figure some parts out by, by watching the movie, right? At least my part of it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so yeah, I definitely was inspired by, by some of my life events that happened this year. Oh, the girl? Yeah, the, the girl, um, yeah, she's not an actor also. I mean, obviously, you can see that. We're not actors. We're not really, um, we cannot do this as good as an actor, can we? Just, we just tried and we did our best. And if it wasn't, like, really serious, hopefully it was really funny for you guys, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, when I was looking for the perfect uh, female character to, to represent um, in, in, in the movie, what I figured out is I want somebody that's going to take away all the attention from Santa Claus, right? Okay, like Santa has a beard, it's a black beard, it's a different Santa, but I don't want that. I, I want something to take all your attention away from Santa Claus. And that was the girl. That, that had to be a blonde girl with really blue eyes. And... Um, I actually had a friend, um, still have a friend. Yeah, okay, I said, I said, I, I, you're still there, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I still have have a friend, and um, I thought she would be the perfect fit because, uh, because of her blue eyes, because of blonde hair and everything, and, and her style, and she, I mean, she was a model, obviously, before, and she was perfect for the role, you know, like, I, I needed that look to stay into people's minds. When they looked at the movie, they're like, okay, I remember that face, right? And hopefully it worked out. Like, it worked out for me. And, and that's it. 